Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another Ghost Layers report. Now if you haven't been made aware of it by now, we do have another bit of a situation here in Japan. Now if you're in a recent previous video I uploaded, I was talking about how fascist Abe and his LDP government hit a bit of a snack of their coalition partner regarding uh, changing the constitution to allow for collective defense or returning to a militarized Japan. Well that of course was only a temporary snag as, as goes with bourgeois politics the coalition partner eventually gave in despite their pretty strong anti-war leanings for in order to save their own political ass. Of course they go against the LDP they'll be destroyed politically in bourgeois politics. So now uh, on Monday Abe officially announced that yes, he's going to go through with uh, revising the Constitution, as he puts it, and allowing for collective defense of the military, which is effectively remilitarizing Japan and allowing the current self defense force to engage in war. As long as someone else technically started it. That's how collective defense works. Now, of course, we know why. You know, the bourgeois here in Japan are, you know, Amer imperialist America's lapdog. And also, they do want the power really bad to bully their fellow Asian neighbors using military might to get what they want. Now, what's interesting about this is the resistance to it. Currently, there are countless numbers of people in J here in Tokyo taken to the streets, protesting very strongly. There's been numerous clashes with police. A lot of police brutality going on. Yes, the agents of the bourgeois are coming down. The hardest I've seen them come down so far during my time here in Japan. But the evolution of protesting and resistance here in Japan has rapidly evolved over the past several years. Now, we look at so three key things that have happened. First was the anti-nuclear movement, which got very strong and very large. And I was actually there the day that... Um, over half a million people took over the streets of Tokyo and attempted to storm government buildings and basically shut down the government until their needs were satisfied. But that was through Walted, through um, organizers basically of that movement. Social Democrats got in control and plus uh, a very highly fraudulent election which ushered in fascist Abe into power and the fact that certain groups within the anti-nuclear movement made a deal with the devil and allowed uh, a lot of right-wing, far right-wing influence and uh, it became very nationalist, which turned a lot of people off. Now the next thing, key thing that happened was when the state secrets law was passed here in Japan. It's basically um, homeland security, you know, America's homeland security on acid. It really is pretty heinous. Uh, it basically allows the government to collect information, arrest on anyone in jail who releases or attempts to release any information deemed a state secret. It mostly affects uh, people working in the government, but also uh, journalists can also be uh, attacked using this law. So that time there was more than a massive resistance to that. People took to the street. Uh, the bourgeois agents, the bourgeois took a far more heavier hand, and the people did stand up to them slightly. And now is this latest incident. Again, we have endless amounts of people in the street. And the agents of the bourgeois, police, other uh, apparatuses are coming down the hardest I've seen them come down so far. And it appears the people are not having any of it. They're actually standing up to them, face to face. Don't touch me, don't push me, get out of my way, it's my country, it's my government, you're a traitor. That type of attitude is being taken a bit more strongly than in before. Now, will the people actually be able to stop the bourgeois this time? That remains to be seen. Are the people confident enough to disregard the age of the bourgeois and do exactly what is necessary to finally put a stop to all these things happening in Japan? Again, that remains to be seen. It depends on the confidence of the people and depends on just how intense the contradiction that we are facing here in Japan becomes. But has there been a, a change in the way people think here? The attitude that people have towards the government and towards society in general? Yes. It's very clear to me 
there has been a change in people's mindset here. If this is the first time you see me, hey, go ahead and subscribe. Clickety click, 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 somewhere around here. And until next time, this is me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo. Checking out.